So Angelique, yeah. what are you doing today? I'm <laughs> flying with Pearl. Him, him over there. That's Pearl. Hi Pearl. So what's the plan today? Fly with Angelique in tandem with the Swift Max, with, uh, equipped with uh, double brake system. So we have four brakes, individual brakes and an accelerator. Okay. And uh, I will teach her tips and tricks of thermal and cross country flying. Okay, sounds great. Well, I hope to fly with you. There goes Pal. It was a four and a half hour experience, a four and a half hour flight and very booming conditions. Uh, it was a great flight and uh, I learned a lot. Um, I was a passenger, I was sitting in the front and uh, I was using, it. he had double control so we could steer the, um, uh, the paraglider together, the tandem. And we also had uh, uh, speed bar control so I could use the speed. So he could get a very good idea of how I was flying and what else to improve. Um, and I could also feel what he was doing in the air, how he was controlling. And that was, for the controls part, very interesting. Mm -hmm. And uh, the thing for me personally, what I learned most was about how to find the next thermal, how to plan it, how to do it. And it was very interesting. I get, uh, I get uh, the brake lines in my hand, look. So, like this, I have three fingers free, so I can enter here or, or get it like that. Yeah. And then I, I push the speed bar. We are now full speed. And depending on, depending on how turbulent the air is, I, I apply a little bit of tension or, or no tension. Just feel, just feel the riser. Okay. Feel the riser a little bit. And whenever the glider is pitching forward, I, I, I pull on it. I personally always was like, when I'm under a cloud and I find something, I'm, I, start, I immediately start thermaling in it and thinking, oh, that's magnificent. But never knowing where to look and where to find it. And he was explaining all the things that are, you need to do when you're under, flying under a, uh, on a cross-country trip. So he was like looking for the birds, looking for the smoke, looking for the wind direction, looking for all kinds of fancy details that you'd never think of mm -hmm. and so if you've got one thing in your mind and thinks oh that looks interesting let's go there he was no 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 there's much more to see there's much more to see there's so okay, much more yeah. to see in the air yeah. than the things you think you can see mm -hmm. and don't get focused on one detail that detail won't walk away it's the bar we use this use this, use this lift we have a good good glide ratio now so we don't need to push the bar Normally you would go from one cloud to the next cloud that looked like oh, it's working, but he was more like um, if you can plan a route that's still under the cloud, it's probably more lifty than the route that you're than the straight line because then you're going to, through a, a, a place of sink. So mm -hmm. we, we really recommend to stay under the clouds yeah. to go from one thermal to the next one. Okay, so yeah, he's talking about taking different gliding lines, not just the straight route. Exactly. Looking, reading the sky and seeing what looks like the best thing. Yeah. So. The conditions are very strong mm -hmm. and you're under a weak thermal that's barely going up. There must be one that's stronger. So you could look in the same cloud if you can find an indicator that, for example, vultures that show you that where the real lift is. Mm -hmm. Or you can move ahead to the next cloud where you know well, um, I'm going to lose some height, but I can also push on and mm -hmm. um, find the next thermal and then go up again there because that mm -hmm. one's probably much stronger and will save me a lot of time. Yeah, yeah, that's a really good one. Yeah, yeah. quite often they see pilots that are, um, they find the first bit of lift, they get under a cloud and the first bit of lift they, they find and then they glide into it a little bit and mm -hmm. they think, oh, this feels good enough and they start turning. Yeah, and climb up at maybe one meter a second or something like that. And when 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 50 meter next, to it, there's a thermal going 50 meters up. Yeah, five meters up. 50 yeah. meters up. Well, cool. uh, five meters. Up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, going up much better. So yeah, that yeah that makes huge difference. Not only are you going faster, but you, sometimes if the, the pilots who stay in the weak climb actually fall out of the bottom of the thermal, if they don't exactly. get into the core. Yeah. You often get dropped. You get exactly. Behind. Yeah, great. Actually, Ronnie is coming up much faster than we do, so now I'm going to go there yeah. and hope to catch a better core. Okay, Paul, so just said that the thermal where Ronnie is in is faster than ours, so we will also go there. And something
something else you recommended, which was which I found very interesting, was not to trust too much on your instruments and more trust on your feelings. So use the force, Luke. <laughs> six flight ratio six, not so good. Now it's great. This is how we work in a group. Well, the most magic thing about it is being there on the spot with a world champion, explaining you all those all those details, showing you like it's it's like you're watching a, a giant map of all those possibilities, mm -hmm. and you know all those little things. It's it's all there. You've read it in books. You've read it in videos like speed to fly, and you've got to well think about look at the vultures yeah you, all, you know all that but you're not doing it you're not mm -hmm. connecting the dots mm -hmm. you're not doing it all together at the same time and that's what he really learned me that's okay. what, what's the, the biggest interesting thing like we were working as a team together yeah. to find the vultures to find the wind breeze to find the look at the clouds look where they start arising and everything together and that's something you cannot get out of the book